Uh, now I'm really hungry for lunch. Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Brandon Woolley here on this Monday afternoon and some surprise sunshine came in for this afternoon across the area. You can see on the visible satellite picture over the past couple of hours the quick thinning of the clouds across most of eastern Oklahoma so that filtered sunshine for the rest of this afternoon. The clouds will be back over the next couple of days and some rain showers moving in overnight tonight. Live now on Viper 40 dual Doppler radar, a clean scan for southeast Kansas Kansas and eastern Oklahoma, but some heavy rain is on the way, especially looks like the heaviest rain coming in for Wednesday morning. This is a live look now from the Renaissance Hotel camera there at 169, part of the Buffalo Run Casino and Resort Weather Camera Network, and it looks like that sunshine is certainly increasing across the area. 52 degrees is the current temperature. As that sunshine increases, the humidity will continue to lower. Now at 66%, our new sunset time is really close to 730 now at 727. Take a look at some of those current temperatures where we have that clearing. You can see around Tahlequah close to 60 degrees. A wonderful afternoon. 55 in Pryor and 54 for our viewers in Grove around Grand Lake. On the satellite picture over the past couple of hours, still looking at that steady southwesterly flow into the state of Oklahoma and we're tapping into some moisture over the Pacific Ocean. That is going to lead to some heavy rain over the next couple of days. Timing things out on future track clouds and precipitation this afternoon, filtered sunshine. Then the clouds increase tonight once again, and we're looking at some scattered rain showers, especially starting to occur after midnight tonight. Some heavy rain showers tomorrow, even some embedded thunderstorms from time to time. Look at that heavy rain there from Tulsa up towards Bartlesville, 4 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. But saving up for the heaviest rain, I would say, by early Wednesday morning. You can see it developing there around OKC and I-35, sliding that whole system right over green country by 9 o'clock in the morning. Heavy rain showers, thunderstorms, and starting to get windy, especially after we lose the precipitation by Wednesday afternoon. Look at those fast southwesterly arrows there. So we could see those gusts by Wednesday afternoon between 40 and 50 miles per hour. And again, that sunshine will definitely be increasing increasing for the second part of Wednesday. Daytime highs today into the 50s to right around 60 degrees, dependent on how much in the way of sunshine you see. If you see that sunshine for several hours, getting really close to 60 degrees for this afternoon. Into the upper 50s around Tulsa, 58 filtered sunshine, still that light wind pattern, which is nice for now out of the northeast between 5 and 10, but some windy days ahead, especially for Wednesday and Thursday. Overnight lows a little bit warmer there by tomorrow morning, including 47 and prior. Your latest seven day forecast showers and storms tomorrow into the mid 50s, upper 60s to around 70 with that clearing on the way, Aaron, for Wednesday afternoon. The wind will hang tough, unfortunately, for Thursday, so kind of a two day wind event. And then St. Patrick's Day around 60 and sunshine next weekend. Sometimes I feel like living in Oklahoma is just a wind event in itself half the time. That's right, and we have two <laughs> days this week. Oh, my goodness. Okay, yeah. well, thank you, Brandon. Uh -huh. Something to look out for.